everybody. It's Dr. Robin McKillop with Get That GED. And today we are going to be working on inequality equations. Um, not the most fun, but they're doable. And it, the good thing is they follow the same foundation as the algebraic equations, the regular ones, but there is a couple little things you have to remember when dealing with inequalities. So I'm gonna switch my camera and let's get going. Make sure you can see this well. Okay. So they kind of look like the problems we were doing last week, right? With the equal sign, x plus seven equals 10. So the format is going to be basically the same or the process. Let's do, let's start with number one. It's x plus seven, oh, that's a terrible plus, equal or it's, it's less than 10, not equal to. We're gonna do the exact same thing we did before. We're gonna get rid of the seven because we want one variable and one number on either side of the inequality sign. So we're gonna get rid of the seven by taking it away which means we're going to take it away on this side as well. And that leaves us with x is less than 10 minus 7. x is less than 3. So x could be 2. It could be 1. It could be negative 45. We don't know. We just know it's less than 3. But see, it's the exact same setup. It's just like if this was written this way, exact same process. Let's do a couple more of these, then we'll move into multiplication division. Then we'll move into the longer ones where the weird things happen. All right, let's take a look at, let's do number six. So this is x, plus three is greater than negative two. And again, we need to get rid of the three because we want one variable all by itself and then one number. So this is the extra number. We're gonna take away three, do that on both sides. That leaves you with X on this side. X is greater than negative five. And we'll do one with a subtraction. And that would be x minus 3 is less than negative 5. Let me push that up so you can see it better. And again, we need to get rid of the extra number, which is the 3. So we're going to add 3 and add 3. Same thing on both sides. Bring down the x, the x is less than negative five plus three is negative two. So exact same process for these guys that we were doing when it just said equal. And if you do get a problem like this and you feel like, oh man, there's something I need to remember, don't worry about it, just put an equal sign there if that helps, but make sure that you change it for the answer. Um, it's it's the same thing. It just looks weird, but these are not a, a big deal. If oh, hello everybody, I'm so glad. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the basics in inequalities and regular algebraic equations where there's an equal sign are the exact same process. There's nothing weird about these, guys other than the sign is a little different. So we go to these, these are also not weird. These are just like the ones we were doing last week when they had an equal sign. So we'll do a couple of these and then we'll get into the weird ones. I promise we'll get into the weird ones. You need to know the weird ones. All right, let's do, let's start with number five. That's two times X or two X 
is greater than negative eight. So this one, the ones we just did were addition, subtraction, x minus three, x plus three. This one is a multiplication problem. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. Divide out that two, do the exact same thing on this side. 2x divided by 2 is x. Bring down the greater sign. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. So exactly like what we were doing last week when it had a equal sign here. Let's do another one like this. Let's do number 6, which is a little bit. No, let's not do number 6. Let's do something different. Do number 8. Negative 7n is less than 21. So again, you need to separate the number from the variable because you want a variable on one side, a number on the other. So we're going to divide out that negative 7. Do that on both sides. What you do on one side, you do on the other. Negative 7n divided by 7, negative 7 is just n is less than 21 divided by negative 7 is negative 3. So these are OK. Let's do a couple of the division problems. These aren't terrible. No, this is easy. Yeah, this is, is like what we were doing last week. Just with a difference. Rather than an equal sign, it's got an inequality. We'll get to the weird ones very soon. Should we change the sign when we divide by negative or not? Say that again. Should we change the sign when we divide by negative or no need? Or, yeah, on the long or last one. Yes. Oh, actually, we uh, good call. You caught me. This one should be, I'm going to redo this one. Thank you. That was the weirdness I was talking about, and I skipped right over it. So the original problem is negative 7n is less than 21. So we didn't do anything to change this one. We just did it. This one, however, it's gonna be a little weird because we're dividing out a negative number. So we're still gonna divide by negative seven, divide by negative seven. But the minute we have a negative right here, we have to flip the sign. So right now it's negative seven N is less than, we need to flip it this way and finish the problem. Negative seven N divided by negative seven is N and 21 divided by negative seven is negative three. This is the weird part of inequalities. And it only happens when you're dividing out a negative number. If you're dividing out a positive, no change. You just fly through that and you're done. But if you're dividing by a negative, you have to flip the sign. Thank you for catching that. I was waiting until the next page. and I wasn't even paying attention. So let's do the division problems. And we'll do a couple more of those short form ones as well. So let's do for division. <coughs> over negative two is less than four. And then we'll do n over five is less than or equal to negative three. So when you've got a, a division problem, which is what this is, any fraction is a division problem, you're gonna use multiplication to get rid of the extra number. So we're going to multiply this side by the negative 2, which means we're going to multiply this side by negative 2. These cancel, leaving you with x. Bring down the sign. x less than 4 times negative 2 is negative 2. When, when they turn into a greater, greater sign because no. of you're not dividing in this one. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, when you're multiplying, you're fine. It's when you're dividing 
So when you've got a problem, oops, that's not it. Yeah, that is it. So oh, that's not what I do with, oh, I flipped it. So when you've got a problem like, I know there's one on here, right here, you're gonna have to divide that by that negative 10 which means you're gonna to have to flip that. So we will do this one. All right, so again, here it's a division problem, n over five, less than or equal to negative three. We need to get rid of that extra five, so we're gonna multiply it out. And I don't know if you guys can hear that pounding. We've got workers in here. Hopefully it's not obnoxious. The fives cancel, that leaves you with n, Bring down the sign and negative three times five is negative 15. So division problems in algebra are not that bad. They're just not. Uh, and actually I think multiplication and division is easier than um, adding and subtracting. Uh. When we divide negative number to negative number, then we flip the sign only, right? Did I do that one wrong too? I should uh, have written ah. No, I, I don't know. The top one, we have negative like seven N. But, but here we have only N over five. There is no negative sign. So it, this one is correct, right? Well, I've got someone telling me. Let me change X before and try. So this one here, you want to try again, Kamal? Let me rewrite this. I'm going to have to check this. Now I'm second guessing. I was all ready to make sure you guys understood it. Now I'm messing you up. So let's do, let's do this one. Um, number seven is x over negative two is less than four. So if we are multiplying out that negative two and multiplying by negative two. So work that one and I'm gonna check something really quick. I'm not gonna go away, I'll be right here, but I'm gonna double check something. <laughs> what is that? Does anybody know that math app with, that checks your work? Is it Mr. Math? Let me try that one. There is one quick math. Let me do that. So I do not want to take you down the wrong path. That would be my fault for not checking my work. Okay, here we go. What did I get for that one originally? What did you guys get for this one? <clears throat> I got X uh, with the lower, the lower sign and negative eight. Perfect. You did it. 
Okay. So for, it looks like it looks like when you are multiplying, when you're doing a division problem, you mm -hmm. don't have to switch the sign. It's when you have to divide. Like okay. so, only we when we divide, we flip the sign. That's the my question. Like when we multiply, so no no flip the sign, right? Right. Okay. So this one, this one follows just as it looks, but these, when you have to divide out a negative number, you have to flip the sign. And this was what I ended up using. Um, this was Mathway. You just take a picture of the problem. Oh, Kamal, thank you for correcting me. So I need to be, make sure you guys know what you're doing. I don't want to lead you down a bad path. That would be terrible. Okay. Dr. Robin, I have a question. Yes. Um, the, I don't understand the, the, the less than sign and the, there is this line underneath. What does yes. that mean? That is less than or equal to. So if we had, if we said three, let's say two is less than three, that's true, right? We could say three is either less than or equal to three, and that would be true because of that equal. Now three less than three is not true. Two less than or equal to three is true. So that's all that is. It's, it's giving you another option that the numbers could be equal. That's it. And sometimes you'll see it and sometimes you won't. I think this is a pretty good page. You don't have it, you don't have it, you've got it. Let's do that one just to see what happens. Seven in is greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to 28. And again, you're gonna divide out the seven on both sides. And N is greater than or equal to four. So that means N could be four, five, six, on and on and on. If it was only n is greater than four, then n would be five, six, seven, on and on and on. Does that make sense? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of a combo. It's the... It's either going to be bigger than this number or it's going to be this number. That's oh, got you. Yeah. And so in this case, this n could be four or five or six or seven or a thousand. But in this right. case, n cannot be four because n is bigger than four. So it would be five, six or bigger. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's a little, it's a, it's a lot. Let's, let's be honest. It's a lot for you to remember a lot of detail work, but you'll get it. <laughs> I promise. Okay. Dr. Robin, and we can have the, the, those two possibilities as an answer for the test. You could, but usually the test is pretty good about giving you all the same like if your answers were A, B, C, D, they would be like um, two is greater than X. Oh, that's not how they'll write it. Sorry, let me try that again. They'll always put the variable first. X is greater than two. X is less than two. Then they'll do something like X is greater than three or X is less than three. That's how they repeat them, is they just flip the sign on you. They won't give you, they won't say 
x is greater than or equal to two, b x is greater than two, they will not do this. So don't worry about that. This is how they'll look. Does that make sense? Does that help? Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot, there's so much going on. It's not fun. Okay, let's do, let's do this one. We're gonna have to divide by a negative number. So this is negative 10x is greater than negative 20. And we have to separate the negative 10 and the x. And we're gonna do that by dividing out negative 10 on both sides. Now, because this is negative, we need to flip the sign, make it the opposite. And that leaves us negative 10 X divided by negative 10 is just X. Negative 20 divided by negative 10 is two. So this is, this is the big deal. And it only happens when you're dividing by a negative number. You have to flip the sign. And you know that on the test, they will give you both. So they're not going to give you any hints to remember that. You're just going to have to put that on your list of things to remember. So when you did 20, negative 20 divided by 10, did yeah. it, it because, because of the signs are the same, it became a, a positive two? Yes. Bad guy leaves town. It's good for the town. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, GED will do this to you. They'll be like, oh, so which one is it? And they'll give you no hint that you have to flip it because these are negative. So put that, you have a list of things you absolutely have to remember. And this is one of them. When dividing an inequality by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality. And that would be the same if it was this. It would still be flipped. Because that line just means it could equal that number. All right, let's do some bigger ones. Because these are the small ones, just like um, the algebraic equations, one step. Then you get into longer ones. and. It's the same process. You don't have to do anything fancy. Just take it a step at a time. Let's start with number one. We've got three X minus eight is greater than negative 14. So what we've got here is some extra stuff. We know we're gonna have to break these two up at some point. But we've got this extra negative eight, so let's get rid of that. That'll clean it up much more quickly. So we're gonna add eight in order to zero it out. Then we're gonna add eight to this side. That leaves us, because this cancels, that leaves us with three X and greater than negative 14 plus eight, I think is negative you got your six. Thank you. And then you, it's back to what we were just doing, the one step. So this time we get rid of that three by dividing it out of, from both sides. And that's X is greater than negative two. So it's just two steps instead of one. They give you the extra number, you get rid of that, and then it looks much more familiar and one more step and you're done. Let's take a look at, we'll do a division problem. Division problems are fun, <laughs> right? They're fun. Yes. <laughs> All right, so X over three plus two is greater than three. And again, we need to get rid of the extra first. Don't even worry about the fraction until you get rid of this two. Take away two from both sides. That leaves us with X over three. These are gone. 
is greater than three minus two is one. one. Now yeah. we got to get rid of that three because it's already a division problem. We're going to use multiplication. And we're going to multiply both sides by that number. So these are now gone. That leaves us with X greater than one times three is three. Believe it or not, these are actually a little bit faster than these. It's about the same amount of writing, but they're just, I don't know. I think multiplying is either easier than trying to divide. I don't know why. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's do number nine. Nine is nice and long. Oh, we should do number seven. Mm -hmm. Let's do number seven first. Oops, I need a new piece of paper. I wrote all over my papers already. Let me grab some. Oh my goodness, I grabbed way too many. Now they're all over the floor. All right. So let's do number seven. That's going to be 4x minus one is greater than or equal to x plus eight. This just means you have more steps to take to get down to one variable and one number. Pick any one you want to get rid of. Negative x. You want to get rid of the negative one or the x? I did the one already. <laughs> oh, okay, let's get rid of the one. So we're going to add one. And then we're going to add one to the eight because what you do on one side have to do on the other. Bring down your four X, your one is now gone. Greater than or equal to bring down X and eight plus nine. is nine. Now you have to get rid of this X because you only have okay. over here. Okay. So we're going to take away X, take away X. Four X minus X is the same as one X. If it helps okay. you. That is 3x, bring down your sign. This x is gone, bring down your nine. nine. So this was a three step, wasn't it? You had to get rid of the number, get rid of the extra yeah. variable. Now you're down to your last step. Oh, I'm sure you can hear that pounding because it's really loud. Soon they'll be done. Maybe in about a month. I done. <laughs> so what do you think? It's longer, but the process doesn't change. Pick what you want to get rid of. It doesn't matter which one. You can get rid of the 4x. You can get rid of the negative 1. You can get rid of the x. You can get rid of the 8. It doesn't matter where you start. You'll always end up in the same place. This might look a little differently, like if you got rid of the X first. This will look a little different, but you'll still end up with this answer. That's the nice thing about these. It doesn't change. Once you're comfortable with these, you are good to go. And they're going to pop up in geometry, and they're all over graphing. So, And then let's do number nine on this page, and we'll go to the last page. All right, this is four times two X minus three, this is a nice long one, is less than or equal to negative three X minus one. So the first thing to do when you get a problem like this is to clear the distributive property. That's when you've got a number outside of an equation in parentheses. You have to multiply that number by both items in the parentheses. And it cleans it up really quickly. So four times two X. Yeah. Four times three. 12. Negative 12. 
and then just bring down your negative 3x minus 1. Now, which one do you want to get rid of? Plus 3x. Let's get rid of the 3x. We're going to add 3x, which means we're going to add 3x to this side. That gives us 11x. Bring down your negative 12 or your minus 12. Bring down your sign. These are gone, so bring down your negative 1. Now we have to get rid of this negative 12. We're going to add 12 to zero it out. And we're going to add 12 to this side. That's gone, so bring down 11x less than or equal to a negative one plus 12 is 11. And you can see what the answer is already, I'll bet. Divide out 11, divide out 11, bring down X less than or equal to one. So X has to X could be one or it could be less than one. It could be a negative. That's all that means. So it's not terrible. It's a bit longer anytime, as, as long as it is up here, it may give you another line to do here when you're working it out, but you'll end up in the same place. And you could have gotten rid of the 12, you could have gotten rid of the 8x, you could have gotten rid of the negative one, you'd still end up here. And that's the nice thing about these. And of course, on the test, they'll never give you a simple one, they'll give you one that's that you really have to reduce before you can start working. That's the way GED is. And here, these ones are a little bit longer. So let's take a look at, let's do number five because it's, the division problems aren't nearly as common as you'd think. You may take the test and never see one of these. Or you'll take the test and you'll get two of them is less than or equal to one. So we're gonna clean this up by getting rid of this six. We're gonna add six, add six to the other side, bring down your M over negative three, less than or equal to one plus six is seven. It's a little cleaner now. Yeah. Multiply out that negative three. That's gone, leaving us just M. Yes, we got to flip the sign. Yes, negative, negative 21. We don't have to flip the sign on this one because it's multiplying. And uh, negative 21. And let me double check that on Mathway. Actually, we need to flip the sign with multiplication and division. I just checked with the app where. Let me find, what number did I do? Number five. Oh, it's confused now. I gave it way too many. Let me rewrite this. Thinking, it's thinking. Ooh, what did I do? I did not get that. Oh, I did. Yeah, I pretty say you did. It flipped, just, sign, it, flipped the it? Sign. it flipped the sign. Kamal, you are absolutely correct. It flipped the sign. So that means 
multiply or divide by a negative number, flip the sign. For both multiplication yep. and division? Okay. Yeah. So anytime, and it's not for adding or subtracting, multiply or divide by a negative number. Number. Flip that sign. Good job, Kamal. Thank you for catching that. Flip the sign. Because you know, they won't give you any reminders on the test. You'll have this answer. You'll have the correct answer and no idea that you were supposed to remember that. And so small details you got to remember all the time. That's what sucks. It is. And this is a really good thing to put on a list of things I absolutely have to remember for the tests. There's a couple of things in science you absolutely have to remember, a couple of things in language arts, a couple of things in social studies, several well, things in math. You just commit them to memory because they won't even be on the, the math sheet that you get. All the formulas are there, but not the little tricks. So thank you. Thank you, Juan. Yeah, they're sneaky. Negative. And I've been doing these for a long time and I, I forget to flip it. Oh, because that three is a negative, right? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, because we multiplied by that negative three. Yeah. And so we had to flip the sign this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this one is not correct. All right. Craziness. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of paper this time. Oh, you got a note to give us. What's that? Now you can write that down as a note and give it to us. <laughs> That's a good idea, huh? Yeah. <laughs> My own, memorize this before you go to the test. Um, <laughs> yeah, and as I run into them, I'll, I actually have a running list. Because I just I missed the part. Uh, I missed the part for the this question. The m over uh, negative three and the negative six and less than or equal to one. Uh, you mentioned here multiply or divide by negative number. Flip the sign. Yes. First we first we did the question. We didn't uh, uh, flip the sign. You say only only for the division. Yeah, and Mathway tells me I'm wrong. Because there's the problem, and they say m is greater than or equal to. Mm. Yeah. So the consensus is multiply or divide by a negative. Flip the sign. Okay, I can write down this multiply or divide by like, yeah. my note. <laughs> Thank you. Very very welcome. And big thanks to Kamal for keeping me honest. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the trouble when you are testing, you are putting out so much information that it's super easy to go flying through a problem and forget something like that. So you mark this one because you did the problem correctly. You just forgot to flip it in the end. And it's maddening. I don't think they should do that to you. They don't listen to me, though. All right, let's try number six. It is negative 5m plus 3 is greater than or equal to 28. All right, so we've got the extra 3. Let's get rid of that. So we're gonna take it away from both sides. That leaves us with negative 5m is greater than or equal to 25. Now we are dividing by a negative. So what's gonna happen? We're gonna switch the sign. Yes, we're gonna turn that <clears throat> thing this way. 
That is M twenty five divided by five. Okay. Yeah. And that will be the answer, the correct answer on GED. Um, Robin. Which, yes. What problem was it? Let me turn this up because I have Camry in my head. I'm certain you guys can hear that because the wall is safe. Say that again. Um, what problem are you doing? Uh, this is number five. Oh, sorry. Uh, number six. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, this one. So question for yeah. um, how did it become a negative five? Because you have to break apart the negative five and the M. And so to do that, because this is currently a multiplication problem, this is negative five times M. Right. To get rid of the five, you have to divide it out. And because it's negative five, you have to divide by negative five to make it disappear. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you have to divide by a negative, that forces you to flip this sign. Right. It's weird, isn't it? But over here, the 25, 25 divided by the negative five, wouldn't that make it a positive? Because the positive is positive. I mean, the higher number is positive. No, this is one of those multiplication things where you say the good guy leaves town. It's bad for the town. Have you seen my little weird thing that I do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The good guy goes into town. That's great for the town. The good guy leaves town. That's not great for the town. It's bad for the town. The bad guy goes into town also bad for the town but if the bad guy leaves town good for the town okay. you can thank my seventh grade teacher mr taylor it's the only thing i learned from him <laughs> i don't know how i passed the class because i didn't learn anything else but i learned that <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Well, that was something oh. good that picked up. Yeah, and it, it stuck. <laughs> it's been a long time since I was in seventh grade, so. That sounds oh. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've got a lot to work on because I gave you four pages of these and there's at least 10 problems per. Don't do them all at once. Do one or two a day. Okay. Because that's how you're going to remember crazy things like flipping the sign, all the processes, it'll go into your long term memory. So when you get to the test, and they give you something like this, you're just like, Oh, no big deal. Okay. You'll almost do it automatically. So never feel like you need to do an entire page of problems. Just do one or two. The next day, do one or two. The day after that, do one or two. Take a break on someday, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the more often you do one or two, the more it will gel in your head. And so when you get to the test and you're dealing with the test anxiety and all the nonsense that goes around testing, you'll look at this and you'll be like, oh, I've got this. My brain's just going to do it. I don't even have to think about it. So that helps a lot because there will be problems where you do have to think and those are exhausting. Cool. Can we do number 10? <laughs> yes, we can do number 10 for sure. So let's do 5X plus seven is greater than 4X minus five. Which one do you want to get rid of first? Um, I guess five seven. Four. You want to get rid of the five X or the negative five? Four X. Five X. Let's take away five X, which means we're going to take it away on this side. This one's gone. This is now negative one X and bring down that negative five, bring down the sign, bring down the seven. Mm -hmm. 
And this forces us to get rid of the negative five. So we're gonna add five, add five. This is gone in I tell oh. is greater than negative one X. Now we have to divide out at negative one, which means this is going to go this way. Yeah. 12 divided you by. Your, you got your 12. Now, I'm going to turn this problem around. I'm going to do it again and see if it comes out yes. by getting rid of something else instead. One thing that I try not to do is get a negative variable. I don't want to deal with them because you do have to flip things around. And you've got enough to think about. So this time, let's go ahead and get rid of the 4x and see what happens. And that just gives us 1x plus 7 greater than negative 5. Now we have to get rid of the seven. Mm -hmm. That gives us one X greater than 12, which is basically X is greater than 12. Which kind of works. Oh, little... negative five, My, um, negative seven is negative 12. It's actually positive. Negative one divided by negative one is positive. No, on the other side. On this side? Negative five plus negative seven equal negative 12. You're right. My goodness, I'm not good at math today. <laughs> yeah, ever. that's where I was getting lost. Oh, yeah, this was, yeah, I'm going to do this one over. I just screwed it all up. It happens. You just don't want it to happen during the test. Yeah, scratch that whole thing before. We're gonna do this again. 5X, I'm gonna blame the pounding that's going on in the other room. Yeah, it could be a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this, this one we were getting rid of the five. So we're gonna take away the 5X, take away the 5X. And that gave us seven greater than negative one X minus five. And this forces us to get rid of the five. If we got rid of the seven, we wouldn't have an equation anymore. So we have to get rid of the five by adding it and adding it. This ends up being 12 is greater than negative one X we got to get rid of that negative one on both sides. And that gives us negative 12. We need to flip because we divided it by a negative X. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to get rid of the four X. Rid of the four X. And this is going to be 1x plus 7 greater than negative 5. Get rid of the 7. Get rid of the 7. 1x greater than negative 12. Divide by 1 just for fun. We get x is greater than negative 12. Are those the same answer? Yes. Yes. So you could you could get rid of the seven. You could get rid of the negative five. It'll look a little different in here, but you'll end up with one of these answers. Do you think the computer will accept those answers? The, the computer will always give you this layout. Oh. Always okay. start with the X. They won't give you that because it's not starting with the X. So even if you happen to do the problem by hand yeah. and you come up with this, this will be the answer you choose. Remember they give us little whiteboards to write on. Yeah, um, in the testing center, 
my, our testing centers here give you the whiteboard. Okay. And it's really nice to have something to write on. Ours and um, at my college, they give us a little whiteboard and scotch paper. Nice. We've got private rooms too. I wish every testing center did that. God, you guys. Yeah, you can go into a room by yourself with a computer. So if you need to read out loud, you can because nobody cares. Nobody, oh man, that, see, that's what they need to do all over. Yes, every testing center needs to have private rooms. And now you can test at home, so even more privacy. You can scream if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There'll be somebody watching, but your family will peek in and say <laughs> they watch in the private rooms too. But it's it's really nice if you're not in a big room with other people. Yeah. Because yeah. oh my god, if you want to read out loud, read out loud, or you want to talk to yourself, whatever makes it so much better. <laughs> yeah, they're a really weird online. The proctors are from India normally, mm -hmm. and they're just, they're told with it, you know, they're scared to death because GED is like, don't let students do anything. So the proctors are really, really strict because they don't want to get in trouble. And it's like, let somebody read and talk out loud. It's not a big deal. <laughs> all right. So that was an interesting day. I was not on my game. And I thank all of you for correcting me. Um, and it's actually really good. It's a good way to learn because you realize, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. So, uh, and that's the thing to remember. If you're multiplying or dividing by a negative when doing an inequality, you got to flip that sign. So, and it's can, easy to can you by any chance send me um, your recordings on math for last week? Oh, I can do that. And let me, who was that? Let me look. James Edda. Thank Did you. you. Do math on Mondays? Math on Mondays. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow will be language arts, social studies. Wednesday will be science. And we're going to do chemical equations on Wednesday. John. Which look like math. They're just a little bit math, but they'll be on your test. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, they, they're really confusing at first. So if you don't get them at first, don't worry about it. You'll get them. It's like everything else. I mean, look at you guys. You're flying through these inequalities and they're not fun. Yeah. <laughs> and there's I think, learning, I think learning, I think learning is all over again as an adult. And I'm just gonna speak for me is a little exciting than it was when I was going to school. <laughs> yeah, I would agree because I had to learn algebra to teach it. Wow. And now I like it. And it's like why couldn't I have had a teacher who taught me this when I was in school? That would have been so much easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I would say middle school and high school math teachers are not very good at what they do. Very few of them are really good. I can agree. My kids, my, I have one in middle school now that is yeah. so struggling. Yeah, and it's not right. Your kiddo should not be that frustrated. It's like, if the teacher would just say, you know what, we're gonna slow it down and make sure everybody's with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How hard would that be? Right, yeah. So you take two days, who cares? It's better than five minutes in a room full of confused kids. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> totally agree. Oh. Can I ask you a favor, Ms. Robin? Yes. For those uh, inequality practice, um, can you give us uh, next time the same, but with the three lines, it will be more confusing on the sign, how we switch. Would you like the ones, let me write this down. Three lines, it's the similar, but there is another line, three lines. It's, they're bigger. Yes. Yeah, we'll That's do. More confusing. That's more confusing. Yeah. They are because, and GED loves the bigger ones because it's easier to make an error the more they give yeah. you to do. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll do that on Monday for sure. 
Thank and you. yes, I will make sure that you get more forms. I've got plenty. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And then after I, this recording hits, I'll send that out and I'll provide you even more work. Oh, thank you. Remember, so just a couple of days. Don't do the whole thing. Okay. Long-term memory is what you're going for. Okay. All right, you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you all. I'll see some of you tomorrow. Some of you Wednesday. Okay. See hopefully all of you next Monday. All right, you have a lovely evening. You too. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye. Bye.